Hey everybody, my name is Zach. I am the head brewer here at Inner North Brewing Co. in Brunswick. Welcome to your July subscription Tasty Notes. We've got a good one for you this month. Um, before we get into the deliciousness of the beerness, we are going to talk about um, a few things going on at the moment. Uh, Spoofings are going out on the 1st of July, they, uh, this Friday. So there's a few things, if you watch this video right away, there's a few things going on this weekend that might interest you. We've got um, on July 3rd, we've got the Winter Cornhole Tournament, tournament going on down at the brewery. It's uh, basically free to enter. You can reserve your, spe your, your place by pre-purchasing a couple of beers um, for your team. Teams too heavily encouraged and welcomed. And uh, you have a chance to win a keg of beer. Pretty good. Um, but if that wasn't good enough, um, we also have Leon Smashburgers bringing their Smashburger um, delicious winter comfort snack food to us on Sunday as well. Um, kind of uh, all things American day, really. Cornhole and smash burgers. It's a shame that July 4th wasn't the Sunday. But, um, we also have later this month, if you are in, like whiskey, we also have a whiskey and beer event with our very, very, very close neighbors, as in across the street from us, Gospel Whiskey. So we'll be... Um, Basically, it's, a, it's a, a tasting event, so Buddy from Gossip will be here to talk through the whiskeys. I'll be here to talk through the beers, and it's a couple of, we've got a couple of boilermakers. We've got like um, a beer that we've aged in Gospel whiskey barrels like three years ago. We've got a beer cocktail. There's a lot of things going on. It's really good value, really good value um, for the ticket price because we just want to get you out of the house in winter and um, enjoy yourself. So check that out. Buy some tickets. It's called Preach the Darkness. Uh, again, July 21st, which is also Guam Liberation Day. Woohoo! Then uh, we have trivia happening Thursday before this comes out, but the trivia happens every month, um, last Thursday of the month. So if you're interested in joining our trivia night, again, really easy. Just uh, shoot us a message to register your team. It's free. Uh, teams of six are, is the preferred arrangement, but you can be less or more. It's, it's no biggie. Um, but our very own in-house comedian slash joker slash serious man um tim is uh the trivia master the host and uh, he make, he writes all the questions um so there's some very good local brunswick questions and local inner north questions always a good time and you can win beer and stuff and if you're into running don't forget every friday we have the uh, north side collective meet here to go for a quick run on friday before enjoying some beers after some well-earned, uh, conscious, conscious assuaging exercise. All right, moving on to the beers. Um, good mix this month. So we got three beers. We got the cold IPA, um, which uh, is called "I Am Whatever You Say I Am." We've got a multi stout for winter, and we've got. Um, Kiss from a Rose, a chocolate rose water stout. Uh, we've we've brewed a couple of times before each winter, and it's a uh, it's a regular favorite. Let's get into them, shall we? We'll start with I am whatever you say I am. Hmm. Just gonna have a quick sip to remind myself. Ooh, yeah. Um. So, uh, a cold IPA. If you watch the tasty notes uh, that we've recorded separately to this, you'll get some further in-depthness about my history with this style. Um, basically, it's not an IPA. Um, it really should be called a warm IPO. It's basically a, a um, taking the hopping techniques of a hazy, hazy IPA and then fermenting it with a lager yeast at warm temperatures for that lager yeast. Um, just, I guess, cold IPA sounded better for the marketing team um, than warm IPO, and it somehow became a style. Although, I don't know if it's going to stick around, actually. Um, so, I think it's probably dropping off the tree already, but, uh, but it is a great technique for making a delicious beer. So, while we hate the name, and we don't really think it's a style, we like the technique, and so we decided to employ it. Um, hence the name, I am whatever you say I am. So, this is... Uh, it's 
got uses got four four different hops in it. It's got Pacific Jade for bittering, and then we've got Citra Galaxy Mosaics. Some real classic hops, like real like real classic hops, regularly used in Nipahs and stuff. Let's have a smell. Mmm. I get definitely get like lots of tropical fruit smells. Pineapple on the nose. And then take a sip. It's got a real crispness, real crisp, dry finish to it. That's nice. Um, sweet on the front, and then just kind of finishes real crisp, uh, real clean, clean finish, which is because of the lager yeast we use. And just a little bit of citrus, a little bit of stone fruit, a little bit of the tropical fruits and pineapple. That is uh, a great beer. Not exactly um, your go-to winter style, but delicious. Um, and we thought it would be nice to give you something that's not a dark beer in this month's pack, even though it is freezing. Um, yeah, enjoy that. It's 5.9%. Um, available, uh, it will be available shortly on our online shop in bottles, or um, it's not on tap currently at the bar. But if you keep an eye on our socials, we'll let you know when it goes on tap at the bar. Um, yeah, moving on. <laughs> Scene change. Uh, next up, we're trying the multi stout. Um, the multi stout is our, our regular, our regular, our, our signature stout that we usually have on tap is the hoppy stout. Um, uh, but we decided uh, to mix it up a little bit. Uh, we sort of decided last year, but COVID sort of screwed everything up. But the idea now is that we'll have our hoppy stout on during summer, and we'll have the multi stout on during winter. Um, basically, uh, as opposed to the hoppy stout, which is hop driven, the multi stout is, you guessed it, malt driven. Um, not a heavy stout. It's, um, I think it's about 5.5%. And uh, using a lot of uh, chocolate malts in there, and um, a little bit of roast barley. It's just really, and um, some kind of special, specially roasted oats actually to give it a little bit of nuttiness. So let's have a let's have a taste. Hmm. So this is this is like this is like a win winter comfort beer for me. Just a good solid good solid stout. Mm. Yeah, nothing complicated. A lot of malt, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of nut. Not bitter because uh, that's not what this beer is about. Um, and just uh, designed to be sessionable and really good. I can attest really good next to the fire and uh, yeah just pretty much all there is to it it's uh, on tap at the bar currently um, what you're getting is uh, carbonated um, normally because um, that that uh, bottles better and is easier 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 for you guys um, but on the bar we've got it on nitro so if you'd like to try out the nitrogenated version of it come to the bar get a pint and you can compare it's what we call doing your homework, or not at home, or extra extracurricular activity. Um, but yeah, come check it out. It's uh, it's a. I'm really, I'm always really happy with this one. Mm. Yeah, super, super good, and pairs really well with whiskey. Hint, hint. And next up, scene change. We have Kiss from a Rose. So Kiss from a Rose, we brew, we've brewed it a few times now, um, and uh, it's always it's it's a, it's a solid performer. Um, basically, we take a take a very malty stout with lots of dark chocolate malt. Uh, just gonna clarify, dark chocolate malt. What that means is basically barley that's been roasted in such a way as to produce dark chocolatey flavors. 
So you sort of have a spectrum from like light chocolate malt to roasted barley. And roasted barley is basically like when you burn your toast in the toaster oven. And chocolate malt is sort of like a properly toasted piece of bread. And then dark chocolate somewhere in the middle. So you're trying to like limit the amount of astringency and bitterness you get from that real burnt malt and just get bring in some of the um, some of the uh, uh, savory, delicious, chocolatey notes. All right. Um, but that said, we then uh, load this up with loads of cocoa nibs. So we get cocoa nibs from a, um, a cocoa roaster just around the corner on Sydney Road called Ratio Cocoa. Shout out to Ratio. Um, they, uh, they do phenomenal work and they make phenomenal chocolate. Uh, we recommend you check them out if you haven't already. And so we got 20 kilos of cocoa nibs off them uh, to uh, basically recirc our beer through uh, to infuse some chocolate, some chocolate characters and uh, makes it extra chocolatey and extra delicious. And then on top of that, we add a kiss of rose, which is um, basically add a little bit of rose water to complement the chocolate flavor. So just to be clear, it's not supposed to be a Turkish delight beer. It's uh, mainly supposed to be a chocolate stout with a hint of rose. Um, so let's have a taste. Let's have a smell. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. The. Mmm. You definitely smell the rose on the on the top of the beer. Especially when you compare it to like a normal stout. We took a keg of this up to the Alps the other weekend, um, again, next to the fire, and it went, goes down a tree. Um, highly sessionable, 6%. Um, but yeah, it's sort of, uh, sort of, it's, it's, you know, it's sort of delicious, a bit fancy, not over the top. And um, yeah, great for, great for, uh, uh, great for a, you know, wintry, wintry beard to enjoy in summer too. Strangely, we find that uh, we always get a lot of orders for this as we're going into summer when it's no longer on tap, um, which is always a bit frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Also available in a few local bottle shops, but it's on, um, available online on our in cans, in bottles, um, at the bar. You can find it. Cool. So that's our beers this month, and I uh, hope you enjoy them. Um, uh, also, every month we have a winner of a, of a special prize. We have no idea what the prize is yet as of the time of recording, and we have no idea who the winner is yet. Um, but uh, keep an eye out uh, in your pack if you have an extra beer or a t-shirt or something in there. That means you won. And uh, yeah, we're ha happy that we're able to get this to you uh, the first of July, um, right at the beginning of the month. So there might be a bit of a five week wait for the August subscription um, because we're on top of things today. Um, but yeah, uh, we got, got some, more, some more delicious beers already in the pipeline for the August subscription. If you have any questions or any feedback for us, give us a shout. If uh, you think we're doing a great job and just more of the same, give us a shout. Um, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoy your subscription pack. And uh, don't forget to put your bottles out Friday morning, Thursday night. All right. I mean, by the time you watch this, it's already too late. But, you yeah, know, remember next month. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye now.